Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue as yesterday and the day before. So no more pause for free energy and magnetic motors. So I promise you that at least for some time. So one of my very good subscribers sent me today one interesting quote and this quote meant the electric light did not come from continuous improvement of candles. So that is true. And if we want to uh, find out something new we have to really explore and search all the ways we can and uh, search the new ways how to make something uh, of course physicists would hate me so we don't know actually uh, what is magnetism and magnetism is the mystery itself so we can even understand on the basic level like electron spin so the, the fundamental particles which, uh, which we understand that they have magnetic field lines and magnetic field at north and south pole, but we fundamentally do not understand where these come from. The same as consciousness, for example. We know that the consciousness exists, we feel it, we, we have it, everybody has it, but we do not know uh, where it comes from, you know, so we do not know yet the formula. Does it come from unconscious processes, which in the hierarchy make a conscious processes? We don't know that. But we might know that in the future, so we don't need to give up yet. So, this was just a short intro. But today we are exploring the Harold Elmore magnetic motor propulsion system. On my left side is the image. It's really amazing motor. So, as you can see, now in front of my face there is animation. It's really not that complicated motor. And uh, as you can see, it has some uh, stator and the rotor in the middle. And on the stator are magnets, permanent magnets, which are coming out of the housing. And I would say that this housing is from magnetic shielding material. And therefore, we actually, in, in such a setup, avoid opposing magnetic field or the other pole which could stop the rotor from spinning so whether this works we don't know but yet we have to read the patent to know entirely so it's very interesting design and um, now you can see it's very short patent i will show now very shortly briefly in front of my face how this patent looks like and uh, how did i remade the uh, reconstruct those images and made animation but yet, we have to come to the big screen to see and to try to explain why would that be in such a way. Well, this will be our first animation and this one is the most obvious how this works. So as we can see, we have these permanent magnets uh, on the stator around and we have the rotor in the middle with some kind of... You see these magnets? This is the North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, South Pole. So basically these magnets are some kind of triangle shaped, as you can see from the uh, image over here. And you can see the first thing you notice in this magnetic motor is that the stator magnets are with some angle. Yeah? They are not perpendicular to the uh, rotor, but they are shifted in angle maybe 30 degrees, 20 degrees, I don't know exactly. And this, of course, is logical that in such a way uh, the same poles would repel and it would push the rotor. But it's, it's almost impossible that this, that this would work if there isn't some catch with this stator housing and these magnets which are actually going out of the stator, which uh, help this to, to actually work. So this would be the case yeah, from the first side. And um, yeah, we can read the patent, it's very short you don't need much time and there are just a few images which explain this but this is it let's see now a little bit when it's spinning so now we can see that this is really a see-through see-through image that we can see inside that we have uh, that we see the stator and the rotor in action and uh, yeah uh, there is not much to say here i really hope this works and, uh, and if we have our measures, that we try that and replicate this. So, who knows? I'm really open-minded for this. Well, what to conclude today? I don't know where to start. 
So I opened this topic with the light bulb and that electric light did not come from continuous improvement of candles. And also that we have uh, the magnetism, which it's not entirely explained yet. We don't know from the uh, elemental particles how it works and why it works and who created this force in, 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 such, uh, in, in this universe. So we don't know that yet, but we might understand it all in the near future. So let's be open-minded and try to study in more detail those patterns that we get and gain our own ideas how that might work, because the options are limitless. So as what I did from the beginning, like three or four years ago, I studied almost, I think, 100 available patterns and I did not maybe to go through them so much in detail to understand every piece of it but con conceptually I do have an idea how this could best work so let's continue this exploration and these uh, uh, animations to see what future brings us so thank you for watching until next video stay tuned on my channel